Massive drug bust by police in both Massachusetts and Rhode Island getting large amounts of dangerous drugs off the streets. More than a dozen people have been taken into custody in connection with the bust. Tonight we're learning how this four month long investigation started. Eyewitness News reporter Anita Buffoni is live in Fall River tonight with where officials say this drug operation was all taking place. Anita? That's right, Kim. The operation is being called Operation Mousetrap, and all 16 people from Rhode Island and Massachusetts were arrested as part of this large drug trafficking ring. Police say this investigation began about four months ago and involved wiretaps to bring down the large fentanyl trafficking operation based out of Fall River. These types of investigations are critical to continue to put pressure on drug dealers for peddling death on our streets. In all, 850 grams of fentanyl, 56 grams of cocaine, roughly $19,000 in cash, pills, and a firearm were seized by police. The Bristol County DA's office says the investigation started with this Fall River man, Michael Squeak Ribello. With the help from wiretaps, more alleged members of the operation were implicated, including two top suppliers who are from Rhode Island. I think there was a significant amount of narcotics seized in Rhode Island also. Um, they were allegedly supplying Fall River organization. The district attorney says by the end of 2019, there will be 200 overdose deaths in Bristol County. With the increased use of fentanyl laced with heroin has caused a number of uh, increase in the number of deaths around the county. Police departments in Rhode Island assisted in the investigation. Most of the suspects have been arraigned while some, including three Rhode Islanders, are still being held. Now coming up new at six, hear about funding that's made available to continue these type of operations aimed at combating the opioid overdose crisis. Live in Fall River, I'm Anita Buffoni, Eyewitness News. The latest developments on a major drug bust that spanned from Providence to Smithfield to Fall River. As we first reported on Eyewitness News Live at 5, the Bristol County District Attorney's Office announced the conclusion of a months-long investigation that led to 16 arrests and the seizure of fentanyl, cocaine, cash, and pills. New at 6, Eyewitness News reporter Anita Buffoni is live in Fall River with more on the time and money that's been put into these operations. Anita? Good evening, Kim. Well, the Bristol County District's Attorney Office tells me that 850 grams of fentanyl have been taken off city streets. Now, these operations will only continue as new funding has been made available. The four-month-long investigation called Operation Mousetrap concluded this week with the seizure of fentanyl, 56 grams of cocaine, roughly $19,000 in cash, pills, and a firearm. Police say this drug trafficking ring was based out of Fall River, but in all, 16 people were arrested in Massachusetts and Rhode Island. Law enforcement officials say these types of operations will only continue as funding is available to help combat the opioid crisis. Is getting at the heart of street level fentanyl dealing that is undermining the, uh, uh, the communities, the city of Fall River. The DA says there have been nearly 200 overdose related deaths this year. This investigation was funded through a new $2.6 million federal grant that the Massachusetts Attorney General secured to strengthen and expand the fentanyl strike force. To date, the fentanyl strike force has seized approximately 227 kilos of fentanyl and heroin over 13,000 opioid pills, 67 vehicles, 59 firearms, $6 million in cash, and has arrested 264 sub suspects. Now, most of the suspects have already been arraigned, but three are still being held who are from Rhode Island. For now, live in Fall River, I'm Anita Buffoni, Eyewitness News.